How you doing everyone? This is Dr. Ray. I'm here with intern Tara and we're going to be talking about a different form of snapping hip syndrome. So one of our earlier videos we've gone over an anterior snapping hip. So we're going to touch off the front of the hip for the patient. So this is our ASIS and typically a snapping hip when we see it when it's in the anterior compartment it's going to snap on the inside of the hip. So if that was the case we've already gone over some exercises, some orthopedic tests. One of them would be our testing our internal and external rotation to see if we can bring about that same snapping hip in the anterior portion. Um, another test would be our FADDIR or our flexion adduction and internal rotation of the hip to see if we can uh, provoke the hip flexors. We might do some other tests like a thigh thrust to see if we can again provoke the uh, hip joint or the hip flexors. Um, today we're going to be talking about a different type of snapping hip and that's going to be on the outside, more on the lateral portion of the hip. So in this case we might be um, less worried about the hip flexors and maybe more about the hip abductors, uh, in particular the TFL and some of the glutes. So for this test we might, if we were suspicious of the iliotibial band, we might start with a test called Noble's test where we're holding on to that iliotibial band with our thumb and we're putting that leg through extension looking for a snap or a pop or a sensitive sensation as this iliotibial band crosses under my thumb attaching into the tibial tuberosity. So that would be a positive, noble sign, might be indicative of a tight iliotibial band causing the snapping. Other tests we can do, we can have our patient roll over on their side and we're gonna bring those legs out in this position. So this test, again, seeing if there's any issues at the greater tuberosity, um, the trochanter, I'm sorry, uh, greater trochanter, not greater tuberosity, um, we would do just a pelvic rock test looking to see if we can aggravate uh, the bursa that sits on top of that greater trochanter to see if there's some underlying bursitis. Uh, other tests we might do would be an O'Bear's test where we're going to support this hip and we're going to extend that hip all the way out and we're going to abduct that hip and for this test we're seeing if this uh, hip abducts past the level of parallel. Uh, it's a negative O'Bear's. If however this leg got caught up and stayed up this high it would be indicative of a tight iliotibial band. So that would be a positive O'Bear's test. Other tests we could possibly do would be one of our um, uh, GTPS tests. Uh, test for the muscles that insert into this region. So one of these tests would be a resisted abduction test of the hip. So in this case we'd extend that hip down and we'd bring the leg down or deduct the hip and we'd have that patient try to elevate that hip up towards the ceiling against us seeing again if we can provoke pain at that greater trochanter coming in probably from in this case the TFL or the iliotibial band. Um, all these tests would be indicative of possibility uh, or problems at this hip joint. Um, again, this is snapping hip syndrome. In a later video, we're going to talk about what we can do if any of these tests are, are found to be positive. Thank you.